Every day I think about what you said to me on the bridge. I tried to live my life the best I could. I hope that's been enough. I hope that at least in your eyes, I've earned what all of you have done for me. Private James Ryan? Sir? We need you back, Ryan. We need you back. What? Six guys died trying to save me. Now you're telling me I have to go back? I'm sorry, but we saved the wrong Private Ryan. Your brothers are fine. Now it's time to get you back to the front line. Well, since about 98, we've been trying to crack the script for the sequel to Saving Private Ryan. I mean, hell, the, the first one made bank, which of course in Hollywood, that, that, mean, that means money. Uh, people love uh, have you have you heard it in surround sound? The, the bullets whizzed by you. I, I about shit my pants when I heard it for the first time. Uh, I tell you, uh, the, the problem was, though, we had the awfulest time trying to find the, the direction for the sequel. Saving Private Ryan was good. Great even. But near the end, it, it just felt rushed. There were so many more stories that could be told, needed to be told. I just don't think the filmmakers had the guts. So in 2003, I approached Mr. Steven Spielberg about my idea to a sequel to Saving Private Ryan. He hated it. He even insulted me for even considering it. So I said, hey, Stevie boy, it ain't 1981 anymore. Why don't you catch up to the modern times? Grow some balls! Well, I took it straight to DreamWorks. Two words. They loved it. I won't lie to you, I didn't even read the script. Hell, I didn't even see the first movie, but I know it made a hell of a lot of bacon. Wait, 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 wait a minute. He's got an M16. The M16 didn't exist in 1944. What the hell are you doing? He needs one of these. Yeah, I don't think that really matters. Those guns are cool, that one's not. If we're gonna make a cool movie, we gotta have cool guns. You know, we don't want something that your grandfather would take to the supermarket. I'm talking the real deal here. We gotta get out of here, we gotta get out of here. God. You have information that is your wants, and information that is your wants is information that the floor gets. Say, that's a nasty hanger you have there. Do you mind if I, do you mind if I do it? <laughs> oh, I'm sorry, Private Ryan. <laughs> uh, first, I thought we would change the knife to something different like a pair of pliers. That didn't really work out. Then I thought, a hedge trimmer. <laughs> you see, that's why I'm here to make the million dollar decisions. I mean, that one shot, people are gonna eat that up like crab cakes. First off, the Nazis never talked with such an exaggerated accent. And a hedge trimmer? Crab cakes. One thing I always felt the first film lacked was a love interest for Private Ryan. Gee, Private Bentley. My heart burns for you like napalm. Oh, James. Whoa, wait a minute. What the hell is going on here? Women did not serve in combat in 1944. Stupid. Whoa, 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 whoa. You know what? You're off the set. Fine, if I go, all the guns are going with me. <sighs> okay, okay. One thing we found that tests really well with audiences are nutty sidekicks. Well, for example, uh, throughout history, you've got Robin the Boy Wonder, uh, Indiana Jones had Mutt Williams, uh, you've got the great gazoo for the fl the, the, fl the, 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 the Flintstones. Uh, and then you've got, uh, of course, from the great Star Wars trilogy, the one we all know and love uh, and endearing to our hearts, uh, Jar Jar Binks. The whole sidekick idea came kind of late in the production process, but I really think it added a whole new realm of depth to the story. The first thing I did was give him a name. My personal trainer's name is Bert, and my accountant's name is George. So, 
Bert George. I thought it sounded like a great name. I've got the animal. Malt! Great job, Bert. And I made him a gardener from New Jersey, the Garden State, which really made me LOL. <laughs> James, can you do a favor for me? Anything, Bert. Just name it. Oh, I need you to find my parents' house and dig up one of my azaleas. Snow! Snow! And put it on my grave. Well, well they know who I am? Will they let me do that? Just tell them. Snow! Snow! Joe sent you. Joe? Who the hell's Joe? Oh, he's... God, <laughs> he's <laughs> Did you read the <laughs> script? Hey. What the hell's your problem? Hey, it's, it's hot out here. God. <laughs> oh, I guess that's a wrap on principal photography. Um, we have a little to do in post. Um, I sent a rough cut to the suits at DreamWorks, and the early word is... As soon as I heard the title, I knew it would be damn good, but nobody could have imagined it turned out this great. Well, this is a dynamite picture. I've not seen it, but, uh, well, uh, it's so good that I'm going to leave you with a clip from their next picture. Saving Private Ryan 3, The Green Green Grass of Home.